when I thought about what I should do, you know, continuing my YouTube page, I thought I'd put all my strongman content out there, but I've left a massive big gap in my life, and it's an important gap because it made me the person I am now, and that's prison and young offenders institutions. I'm, I spent the best part of 11 years in and out of, you know, God, countless, I forgot how many, and um, I just want to give you an honest, honest perspective on how it feels to first go to prison, so you first go on to, you first in the magistrate's court, and my solicitor said, oh, just do three weeks, you'll be fine, I'll get you out, so I trusted him, I sat down and, you know, down in, downstairs in the magistrate's court for hours, and then you get your name called, and then you get handcuffed to a, um, an officer, the first time it's ever happened to me, he was nice, you know, he said, look, you got to walk this way, I followed him, and then he puts me into this tiny cabin, in, into this van, and I get in, in later years, as I get massive, I can't fucking get in, but anyway, I get in, sit on this hard seat, now I know I'm going to felt them, I've heard some bad stuff about Felton. I've heard it's, you know, there's not many white people. I've heard it's racist. I've heard it's rough. All these uh, end up being true. So, you know, I'm on my journey and I'm thinking. And then you pull up to the prison and bang, that sign there is, is pretty much your freedom's gone. So you go through these big, massive gates. All prisons are different, but... You know, felt him at a, an airlock gate, you know, so you went through the, the gate and um, you sat on the van for ages, you know. I thought I'd be straight off the van. No, you sat on there for ages. I think I was sat on the van for about an hour and a half the first time. And on the van is other prisoners. And these were hardened prisoners. You could tell they were smoking. They were, like, joking around. They kept asking me questions. I didn't really know the prison lingo. I was, like very intimidated you know I'd never been to the gym you could tell these lot worked out you know I just I had nothing in common with them you know I was really well spoken they were street it was just you know I could tell straight away this was not a place I was going to fit in it really wasn't and you know I was intimidated so when they called my name out I get out of the van I walk up and I have to give my name, my date of birth, and I'm given a prison number. And I'm taken round, put in a holding cell. Later on that day, I'm strip searched. And um, it's the first time I've been strip searched round so many men. And it's embarrassing. And then you walked onto a wing, you know, carrying your clothes. And this is the most intimidating part of it all because they're all watching you, they're shouting stuff down at you. The ones that walk in that know people, they're all shouting, how long did you get? And, you know, they're, they're asking me where I'm from, you know, thinking I'm from, like, west or north or, you know. And I, they can tell straight away I, I've not been in jail before just by my whole demeanour. You know, I was tiny little thing. I was, um, you know, don't get me wrong, I was tough. But I, I, wasn't, I wasn't street. I wasn't street like these were, you know. So... I'm walking along the land, and I just want to get into the cell. I'm just, you know, I, I'm i getting showered out from all angles, you know. People are taking the piss out of me, you know. Like, I just, you know, I don't really know what to say, you know. I just, I just want to get out of there. So then they put me in my cell, and it was a fucking shithole. I remember walking in there, but I thought at least all the fucking shouting will stop, but it doesn't. They come to your door. They want to know if you've got burn. Did you get your smokers pack? You know, back then there was no tellies. You know, there was no toilets. You know, so they're like, you know, did I get my smokers pack? You know, I'm entitled to a smokers pack. These lot know the system like the back of their hand. I ain't got a clue. What is a smokers pack? Did you ask for a smokers pack? Did you get chocolate bars? Have you got this? Have you got that? You know, just constant questions. Can I have? And they don't say please. It was, can I have this? Can I have that? And I, I wasn't used to people speaking so rude and the way they speak to each other. And, you know, they were outside my door like, like I'm fresh entertainment because, you know, I'm totally out of my depth. 
And that was my first day in prison in, in Feltham, you know. And, you know, at night time, they're calling me at night, you know, to come to the door, you know, yo, 34, come to the door. And do you know what I mean? And I'm, I'm just not used to this. And, you know, I, I'll tell you later on how, how my induction goes and, you know, how um, I process through the system. But that was my first day, you know, real, raw, honest. You know, I was scared. I was, I regretted it. Do you know what I mean? And I, I was out of my depth. I knew I could fight, but I was outnumbered. I was so outnumbered, and I wasn't welcome. I wasn't welcome there because I wasn't from London. So, you know, back then, you know, I know prisons are different now, but back then prisons were rough. They were rough. The screws didn't really get involved, and the bullying was bad. Not just me, but that night I heard people crying, I, I heard all sorts of people singing out their doors, all sorts of stuff. It was, it was, I was just led on my bed thinking, fuck, I'm going to have to fight, you know. So that's my first day in jail.